For more on this, let's bring in Senate Majority Whip John Thune. He's a Republican of South Dakota, and great to have you here. If we could start Thanks, with this, um, I wanted to read to you a tweet from Senator Warner. Of course, he's the uh, ranking on the uh, Intel Committee. He said, Mr. Barr knows how counter intel investigations work. He knows there was ample evidence of Russian attempts to infiltrate the Trump campaign and that the FBI took lawful action to stop it. Giving a wink and a nod to this long debunked spying conspiracy theory is irresponsible. So I guess I would ask, because we don't have the report yet um, that um, uh, Barr is going to send out, is everyone playing with fire t trying to talk about it without having seen it? Well, first off, you're right, Dean. I think it'd be good. Let's let's wait and get the report. It's going to be available uh, sometime, as he said, in, within the, the next week or sometime next week. Um, but these questions that are being raised, I think, are valid ones. If there was, if governmental power was used to abuse the rights of American citizens, that's something that we need to know. Now, my experience is that the Attorney General is a very straight shooter. Uh, I think that he isn't going to go off half cocked. Uh, he is looking into this, and I think he has every right to look into this. And I, mm -hmm. frankly, think the American people expect him to look into this. Though that, uh, though he had the summary that said no collusion and no further thing to see here on obstruction. Uh, of course, the Democrats want to have this report. They're making a big deal out of it. Here's President Trump this morning talking about it before he left for Texas. It was an illegal investigation. It was started illegally. Everything about it was crooked. Every single thing about it. There were dirty cops. These were bad people. You look at McCabe and Comey, and you look at Lisa and Peter Strzok. These were bad people. And this was a, an attempted coup. This was an attempted takedown of a president. I'll just get your, ask you for your thoughts on that. I mean, that's some pretty strong language, attempted coup. Well, it's that, <laughs> I think that's the way the president um, I'm sure views this, but I, I think the, the fact of the matter is the investigation, the Mueller investigation is complete. The report is gonna, going to be available. The American people hopefully will have an opportunity uh, to see what's in there and make their own evaluation, which yeah. is what we've always said should happen. This should be a very open, transparent process. Let the American people decide. And, uh, and I, again, I have every confidence the Attorney General is doing everything he can to make as much of this uh, report public as possible. Meantime, another one of your colleagues on the other side of the aisle and also running for president, Senator Bernie Sanders, announcing sort of a Medicare for All Plus plan. Listen to this. They want a health care system which will lower health care costs and save them money. They want a health care system which will guarantee them freedom of choice in terms of the doctor or hospital they go to. They want a health care system which will substantially lower the cost of prescription drugs. I wonder what you think for the citizens of South Dakota. Would any of those things actually come true if the government takes over all of health care? Well, the, what he's talking about, his plan wouldn't accomplish any of those things. I mean, what he's talking about is a one-size-fits-all government-run plan which takes insurance away from 180 million Americans who have it today, paid for by the taxpayers at a cost, uh, according to most estimates, of well over $30 trillion. So this does not give people more choices. It does not lower their costs. Uh, all it does is put the government in charge of their health care. And that is, a, that is an idea that I think the, uh, the American people are going to reject. And frankly, one, we would love to have the opportunity to discuss and debate uh, in the Well, it looks like you're going to get your wish there. I'm going to give you uh, just 30 seconds on, you're going to try to help us get rid of these robocalls. Tell me more we about are. that. Well, we've got a bill, Dana, that would hopefully, get, you're not going to get, away, get rid of all of them, but there were 26 billion robocalls made last year that uh, annoyed the American people. And many of them are a nuisance. Uh, some of them are just flat preying on vulnerable populations, and we mm -hmm. need to do something about that. So we've got a bill that takes that on. Well, I know that there will be lots of people who will be grateful, me included, if that actually happens. Senator John Thune of South Dakota, we'll thank you. Thanks, Dana. Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary and a Fox News contributor. Ari, first just want to get your thoughts as this hearing on Capitol Hill continues and what you've heard so far. Big day, big deal, Sandra. The shoe today moved to the other foot. After two years of breathlessly covering every accusation against Donald Trump, no matter how absurd, no matter how outlandish, no matter how hysterical, 
Now the investigation moves to the Obama administration. And it's just fascinating to watch the press already start to make excuses for why the Obama administration should not be looked into. I was watching that on a different network earlier uh, this morning. Uh, that's a very big deal, what the Attorney General is doing, what he's saying, and his belief that spying took place. I mean, what, what an exchange that was with, with, with uh, Gene Shaheen, RA. Spying on a political campaign is a big deal. Shaheen said, are you, are you saying spying occurred? He paused slightly, said spying did occur. Uh, need to know if it was properly predicated. Uh, this is something that we already knew ahead of the hearing, that he's going to look further into what exactly, what exactly was ha happening there. But meantime, on the Mueller report itself, what is your takeaway so far ahead of the actual release of the redacted report, Ari? I think the attorney general is a do-it-by-the-book guy, and he's doing it by the book. And when he says, I will let the Mueller report speak for itself, I will not categorize it, isn't that exactly appropriate for the Attorney General? Attorney General's job is to decide whether or not charges get filed against people. The work of Mueller is independent. It should stand on its own. It should speak for itself. I want to read it. We all want to read it. And we'll get to. So, you know, I think what you've got here, Senator, frankly, are a bunch of grassy knoll Democrats who cannot give up the conspiracy theories. They, for two years, put this nation through misery and turmoil, divided us and hurt us by alleging that Donald Trump colluded with Russia. And now they want to allege that Bob Barr, the attorney general, is somehow doctoring the Mueller report, won't make the full Mueller report public, will hide parts of it. This is nothing but grassy knoll conspiracy theory Democrats who don't know how to give it up. They should give it up and get back to legislating. What was your takeaway from the exchange there about potential changes or accommodations that he might be able to make with judiciary, Ari, uh, when talking about the color-coded redactions in the right. most inflexibility, he said, with the grand jury information, but he'd meet with judiciary to see if there were um, any further uh, information in the report that fell into those categories that he would be able to make public ultimately? You know, he said the exact same thing yesterday, both about the color coding and as well as meet with judiciary to help them through this. But that's called good government. That's called the executive branch and the legislature trying to cooperate to figure things out. If you're the attorney general, you are bound by the law. You cannot release things, no matter how politically expedient or no matter how much Congress would like you to. You must obey existing laws. So for those who are saying release it all regardless of the law, what you have is lawmakers calling on the attorney general to disregard the law. He cannot do that. And so I think the process he's outlined is a respectful one, a proper one. Um, the one missing ingredient here, I'd like to hear Bob Mueller talk. I think Bob Mueller does know, owe it to the nation after this comes out for him to shine some light, to reflect a little bit. I, I think that would assuage a lot of the feelings people have about what the attorney general is doing here. Is he doing it properly? Mueller should properly weigh in on that. I, right. I've always respected him. I said that from the start, as you know. Uh, he's a missing voice. I think he needs to be heard as well. Right, this hearing continues. We'll get back to it, but I, I want to run two um, sound bites for you from the hearing from the past few minutes and get your reaction to each. Here first is bar on obstruction, Ari. Did he express any expectation or interest in leaving the obstruction decision to Congress? Uh, not that he didn't say that to me, no. So he said the obstruction decision should be up to you? Uh, he didn't say that either. But that's generally how the Department of Justice works. Generally, uh, grand juries are to investigate crimes, and uh, a prosecutor's role at the end of the day is binary. Are there charges or no charges? He went on to say he looks forward to publicly explaining his decision, Ari, and it was, we know that's going to happen. He's been invited to appear May 1st and 2nd. We'll hear more from him on that after the release of the report. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that's exactly the job of the Attorney General. And what the Senator is getting at is, can I impeach him? Uh, based on what Mueller wrote, can that be something that Congress can use to impeach? And you know what? That's the Senator's decision. It starts in the House. If the House wants to impeach the President, Try. Bring forward the evidence you have and try to impeach him. If there's something in the Mueller report that you think makes your case, proceed. That's what the senator wants to 
hope is in the report. That's why he asked that question. But it's a different job that he has than the Attorney General. Attorney General's job is binary. Does the Justice Department bring its immense powers to prosecute or not? Okay. He said not. Senator Coons is talking now on Capitol Hill. Ari Fleischer, thank you for joining us.